Hey guys, so this is how the 1% manifests. Now what do I mean by the 1%? 1% basically means the few individuals who understand how all of this stuff works. And you may fall into that category. It's what you call the chosen ones, or you may just be entitled to receive this knowledge and information. So I'm gonna share with you what I've discovered and why I was so successful in doing the things I did, I'm doing. Like winning lotteries, just creating this abundance and stuff in my life and all this stuff. And you can do it too. And here, here it is. Here is the secret to put you separate from others. And this is all about a mindset. And I discovered this because I've experienced these trippy stuff. Now... You know, I can get on here and I can talk to you and I can tell you, well, this is, you know, what it's supposed to be and this is what you should do. But remember, things I'm telling you are things that I have experienced. So I'm bringing them forth on this platform. It's not some thing that I just thought about or, you know, oh, okay, Mark is seeing how this is done. This is, I've lived it. So I lived it and I'm putting it out so if it happened to me, it will happen to you. And then what, what, what brings this full circle is now there's evidence to back up everything that I've been saying and doing for years. And sadly enough, even with this video, a lot of people won't still won't believe. And that's okay. I mean, I am ahead of time right now. I'm transcending. This information may sound crazy to some people, but I can guarantee you 10, 15, maybe 20 years down the line, they'll come back to this video and they'll say, man, this guy right here, he was ahead of his time because he was talking about stuff that we had no idea and now it's coming into reality. Just like back in the day when they had Newtonian physics and they thought reality was solid and now we're starting to learn that our reality isn't solid. And that's a part of it. So the, the, the thing that manifests, the 1% manifests, here's, here's the mindset I have. And this is something you're going to discover as you continue on your journey and you're learning. The truth is stranger than fiction. And let me begin to show you what I've observed and what I've learned and how I incorporate it to create and learn in my life and to just help people and to, 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 for everyone to understand their true power and their true potential. The first thing is this, and I go back to that. I started to understand that my physical world isn't physical. That was the biggest one. I started to just discover that I live in a subjective universe. And, and you know, we think we live in an objective reality where we see physical things. And you know, I would, when I touch stuff and I hold stuff, I would always perceive those things as to be physical. But as I learned and I'm guided by this higher self and I started to study science and quantum physics and all these different uh, parts of these theories and then it started to work in my life. I was like, hmm, this really is interesting. So the first thing that if you want to become that 1% to manifest, you have to know the mindset that your world, it's not physical stuff. You see, not the way you perceive it. The truth of the matter is this, guys, is that all of this is information. We are information. Our cells are information. What is your DNA? Coded of information. The universe is information. Now they discovered that Space is an empty space is filled with information. They call it qubits, they call it zero point energy field, and all this stuff I knew, I knew innately, but I just couldn't put it out in the words until the science came up and I was like, okay, that's what's going on. So that was the big turning point for me was whoa, all of this isn't really like real. Now it's real in a sense, yeah, I can feel it and I can touch it. 
But I understand what that is as well. I understand that, okay, it's just my perception and my brain and the way my uh, the circuitry in my body works. You know, it's picking up these information and it's decoding into my brain that it's real. But I, I innately know it's not. I innately know it's forces of energy and I know that I'm an electric being. You see, all these things start to create this new paradigm in my mind. And when I started to accept this new paradigm, then I started to see evidence of it. I started to see experience, what you call trippy stuff. I started to get dreams, and these dreams would show me the visions, and then I would see the stuff happen. And, you know, with the lottery, that's when I started to get these numbers, and these numbers would come in, and I would play them, and I would win. And then I would just start to attract people, circumstances, situations, because I shifted from an old mindset of limitation, and I, st I entered the infinite field of potential. That's how it works. I shifted from an old mindset and I entered a new mindset of infinite potential. And then I would see it in my life and I was like, whoa, this stuff is really true. And then I start to understand the physics of the universe. For example, when I discovered that 96% of our reality is invisible to us. We're only seeing 4%. Everything you see around you is only 4% of the makeup of the entire multiverse. It means 96% of what Mark is going around, it's not visible to Mark. It's invisible because Mark's brain hasn't developed the ability to tap into that world yet. But we know the world exists because we have instruments. We have these instruments that can detect the light. Spectrographs. We have we have this, uh, the ice, it's called the ice particles, a machine that can detect uh, neutrinos. It can see, the spectrographs can see the different wavelengths of the infrared gamma rays, all these different uh, information. Then I discovered that, whoa, even light, photon that you and I are made of, it doesn't even age. It can't perceive time. A photon exists now and forever. And we are light beings. And, you know, I am an energetic. My body is electromagnetic. And once I start to understand these things and I start to put them into my mind and I start to create this new paradigm, that's when the, that's when the shift started. That's when I started to manifest so much easier because I kind of, what you said, I cracked the code. I tapped into that code. Then I start to understand that, okay, Mark, so this is how it goes. So Mark, what controls all of this? Then I start to learn my all my subconscious mind works. And I learned that that was the key to all that. Then what did that lead me? That led me to a higher unknown. I went into my higher self. Then I discovered the super conscious. Then I understand how God works in the universe. And I understand it's all one. And I was like, whoa, so God is this energetic force and it's in me and it works for everything. So it's not this like man in the sky and it... When, when I when you get like a, when you put God as a man or a being, it puts you a limitation. It puts an authority figure above you. Then you lose your focus because now you think you're lower and all that stuff. And I understand how the electron works and I understand how quantum physics work and how reality interacts with my mind and my heart. I understand my heart has a six feet radius of electromagnetic energy and I can tap into that and I can influence this field. And when I influence this field, the physical stuff starts to change and come into my life and it works through my unconscious, my subconscious mind. Then I start to understand how, how important visualization is. So when I'm, the more I visualize, the more I tap into that field. And then I understand that my reality is subjective it's not objective and all of these things man it just started to click for me and that's when it hit me and i said whoa and this is my motto truth is really stranger than fiction and again most people won't believe this and it's fine as i said years from now they'll see this because the science is just at the ground breaking the, the science is just creeping up to this but the funny thing was this information, man, was known like thousands of years ago. Teachers, you know, Buddha, all these teachers, Confucius, the monks, they all knew this. This information was there. This information was out there, but the science just couldn't catch up. And I tapped into that. 
and that's how the one percent manifests you see you won't you won't fully be able to tap into this world unless you change your paradigm and understand what i'm saying here that's the bottom line it won't make sense to you until you start to go in and start to change and be and be and be an open mind. And the thing to get you there, you have to be an, you have to be open minded. Now I started to understand. I was like, whoa, man! So, ninety six percent of my reality is missing to my mind and my brain. Why is that? And I started started thinking to myself, why is that? And I understand that. Whoa, man! You know what? We're low on the totem pole of intelligence because. If, if our brains can't perceive this universe, then they, maybe they've got to be higher beings. And that's where we, we, I started discovering these, these information has been downloaded to me from higher being, my higher self. And I discovered, whoa, that's just me as an extension. It's like, man, why don't they teach this stuff? So how did I discover that? Well, because there was this inner voice that would communicate and talk to me. And anything I wanted, I would ask it and it would bring it the answers to me. Where is that coming from? People say, oh, man, that's God talking to you. Okay, that's the definition of God. Then it's a part of me because that voice was coming through me. It was my voice. So I said, whoa. And then it would tell me what I needed to do. It would give me the signs. And then it would start to show me these uh, synchronicities and these numbers. And that's when I started to understand that this rea my reality is really a game. And then I understand my subconscious mind is in charge of all of this stuff. And then I said, man, so this is how it really works. So I was like, man, I gotta put a formula. So I put my formula together. And so I started to understand. I said, all right, Mark, so you, so you got to remember that you live in this subjective world and what you focus on becomes like an objective world. And then I visualize and then put it to your subconscious. And then I learned to tap into this higher self and I learned the language code of my higher self. And I, then I would learn the language of the universe. And I discovered that within this uh, holographic, which you would call it a holographic world here, because everything is just information being projected. Science is, science is proving this now. So I said, okay, all this information out there, I can influence this field through two things. I was like, okay, Mark, what's, what, how do you do this? Then, the voice, then the more information came and said, hey, man, you influence this field, Mark, through actually three things. It says, through your brain, through your heart, and through my gut. I was like, whoa. And I discovered, and I started to read, and I discovered that my gut has an interest, interesting nervous system where the majority of the chemicals produced, like uh, serotonin, the DMT, all that is produced in my gut. I was like, no wonder all these feelings I would get from my gut. So my gut contained the information. My gut has a brain. My heart has a brain. The brain has a brain. I was like, whoa. See, see, I started to, to uncover these secrets that a lot of people don't know. And it's, just, it's, it's unfortunate that a lot of people won't get this. But right now, at the time we're in, the evidence is there now. So this isn't like a pseudoscience thing anymore. And this is why 1% of people can manifest. Because when I say 1%, few people know this information. And the ones that do, that's why you see them striving and successful. And unfortunately, the ones that do, they're not, they're not going to share it as well. Because they don't want to be ridiculed and they don't want people to think them think of them as a quack. So they said, they don't care. They said, man, I discovered this stuff. I'm just going to keep it to myself. These people don't even know what they're doing. I'm going to let them struggle hard and do all this stuff. I'm just going to keep this. Because if I tell them anyway, they're not going to believe it. That's what a lot of people think. That's why you won't see this out there like that. But you know, I'm different. I say, whoever's meant to hear this, it will resonate. Whoever's don't, don't worry. The information will be there. They'll get it in a few years or whatever. But I had to bring it and share it. And that's why I'm bringing it to you. So you have to understand this whole new world. The truth is stranger than fiction. You have to tap into this world. So the first step for you is to be have an open mind and start to study your world to understand that this is all information. There's no physical. It's just an illusion to you. You have to understand and it brings these things into your life. That's how you're going to unlock the power of your mind. And that's the secret to 1% manifesting. If you're seeing this and you follow me for a while, I'm sure many of you are doing it. But now, this is just an awareness information for those who, who aren't aware of this. 
this is how it works. Thanks guys.